Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about budgeting and how I handle my budget, how I keep track of all my expenses, um, my income, all of that stuff. And I use a really cool spreadsheet from mint.com. And uh, so let's go to the computer and take a look at that. So guys, here's my monthly budget template that I got from mint.com. Um, it is a free download for Excel. I'm not sure if it works with uh, Google Sheets or Apple Numbers. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's something on the website about that. Or you can just use this as an idea and create your own template. So this first section here, it's um, all my income for the month. Um, I have SSI, SSA, my cash grant, which is a uh, aged, blind, and disabled grant um, that's actually through the state. Um, my YouTube, which has been averaging about $20 a month. Um, some months a little bit more, some months a little less. And that isn't deposited every month because AdSense only deposits once your account hits $100. Um, so it's been quite a few months uh, since I've actually gotten a deposit from YouTube. Like I said, it fluctuates drastically. So let's see what we have going on here. So for the month of December, it looks like it made $15.26. For the month of November, it was $24.67. So that seems to be about the average. And so far in January, it's been $6.46. Um, my income on YouTube here is very dependent on views and um, all that stuff. I'm hoping to increase my consistency with more videos, um, kind of figure out what is more popular, what people want to see and start producing those types of videos and hopefully we'll see a little bit higher revenue through YouTube. Uh, the next one is Patreon and currently that's at $24. So my total income at the moment is around $821. So this next section, this is all of my outgo costs for the month. Um, these are things that I pay out of my account myself. Um, you won't see anything like utilities or anything like that. Um, those things are taken care of by mom since I really don't have um, the ability to pay those right now. Um, so starting at the top is my Microsoft Office and that is my subscription to Microsoft Office 365 and that is so I can use Excel and Word. The next item is Amazon Prime that's $13.99. Um, that is so that we can watch Prime video. Um, we watch you know TV of an evening mostly documentaries but there are some movies on there for free. Um, and that also gives us free Prime shipping, so when we do buy something on Amazon and then Mom and I, we just use my account uh, to buy things, so we don't have to worry about two separate accounts. The next one is Sprint, and uh, that's my cell phone bill. I do realize that is a little bit high for one line, um, but that's for my unlimited everything account, uh, my cell phone lease payment, taxes, fees, all that stuff. Also, it's a little bit high because I did upgrade my cell phone um, to the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, that's mostly because it does film in 4K and so it allows me to make uh, higher quality videos for you guys. The next item is mortgage. Um, that is $553.63 and uh, that is going to be going up by about 40 some odd dollars. I got a letter from my lender stating that there was a mishap uh, with my escrow account. I guess there's not enough in it. Um, so they're going to have me pay that. I think it's 40 something a month. I'd have to double check on that. So for their mess up on the escrow account, then I have to take a, another chunk out of my budget to cover all of that. And this last section, this is income versus expenses. Um, so this just shows my total monthly income and my total expenses. And then the difference is around $75 a month, uh, give or take, just depends on the month. Um, and that is used uh, to buy things for videos or if I want to grab something from McDonald's on a weekend or something like that. Um, that way I just have a little bit of pocket cash and not everything is, you know, dependent on mom. And if you're interested in seeing uh, my monthly budget spreadsheet that includes all utilities, um, all of my credit cards that I haven't been able to pay, um, all of that information, let's go to the next sheet and I'll show you that. So here's the monthly budget template that shows everything, everything that's due, um, everything that has to be paid, all that stuff. So on the right here you see all of my credit card um, balances as of January. I do update these every month. 
having to keep on top of exactly what's owed. And I talk to all of my credit card companies every single month um, just to let them know what's going on, um, if there's been any changes in my income. And uh, they've all been really great at working with me to kind of keep my fees down so that things don't get too out of control. So in the expenses section that shows all the utilities, um, there's gas, utilities, Sprint, um, the internet cost, um, the windows, that's a loan that we have. Uh, Mom and I jointly, when we put new windows in the house, because um, when I moved in, they were just single pane aluminum windows. And so uh, we upgraded all of the windows in the house. It's been a massive savings this year versus last year uh, when we had the old windows and the winter was really cold. These are my current minimum payments due for my credit cards. You know, it's all the past due, all of that stuff. Um, and like I said about my balances, I do update this every single month just so I can keep uh, a better uh, eye on what's due. And I'm hoping soon I can um, somehow make enough money to get these all paid off and get back to a zero balance. So at the moment, I'm about $1,400 short of paying everything every month. Um, but like I say, mom does take care of utilities and everything for the house for me. Um, the credit cards are just kind of in limbo right now. And, um, you know, I'm just doing my best and we're working forward with both of our budgets to keep our heads above water. As you saw, my credit card debt is pretty scary. And right at this moment, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, I've been trying for years to keep on top of it. And actually, it's only been the last probably year and a half, two years that it got really bad. I used to have zero balance on everything. Um, but with moving and new house and remodeling, um, you know, everything just gets maxed out super fast. So if you're new here, please uh, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. Um, you can follow me on any of my social platforms. All the links are in the description box. Um, and if you'd like to help support my channel, I have a Patreon account. Um, it's linked below. And then also I sell merch. Um, I'm still trying to come up with some new ideas. So if you have any ideas that you might be interested in, definitely let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.